Hello YouTube, it's Balmore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, Hearts of Stone expansion for the PC of course, Death March difficulty, and we're on part 188 of our series. Hooray! Okay, so we're back at the quest at hand. Last video we met um, Shani, who's moving, but she told us of a professor that may know something of uh, Olgierd von Everick. So we visited the professor who was in a very secured area, but we got in. Watch that video uh, if you want to know the history um, behind Olgierd and his this uh, Master Mirrors. I won't spoil it other than he is a demon, um, but we knew that anyways. But it delves into detail on what it, what he really is and why he does what he does how long he's been around you know yada 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 but uh, long story short very very powerful demon but we kind of already knew that so he's not a djinn he is a demon for sure um, I also showed the uh, character journal entry for uh, Mr. Odim and as we know him at least Master Mirrors or Man of Glass as uh, said by the cat and dog in the um, Last Wish quest line. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So when I popped over, we got to go to the temple, which is right here. Uh, here's the nearest quest point, but there were some necrophages I thought would be cool. Show some fighting. Also, to take note, I found the Superior Spectre Oil in the tower on the way out of the last area it is an RNG thing so don't think that it's guaranteed to be there but that's where I ended up finding it come on big boy ooh an El Ghoul really weak one Yeah, I've been disappointed as well. I haven't found any more gear um, outside the boots and the trousers that have been upgrades in this expansion. Very, very uh, disappointed. I know I can craft, right now I can craft the Fury set, but I was going to hold off just in case. I don't know how this is going to play out. I'm going to be a little perturbed if I find out I should have crafted it, <laughs> to be honest. Some stuff over here. Where are you, Mr. Monster? Where's Mr. Angry Pants? Oh, those are far off. Something here. Oh, and I also made Finally, my last Greater Red Mutagen. So I'm using four Greater Red Mutagens and my skills. It looks like we may have cleared them up around here. Alright, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to loot this little uh, village. Looks like I hadn't yet. And then I'll see you guys at the temple. I made some changes uh, to my character, as you can see from... Uh, <clears throat> from my armor and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I was doing so what I've done is um, I changed my rune words to this um, replenishment you can read the tooltip there so when I cast a sign it's gonna make my sword attack assuming I have adrenaline points um, my next attack will be that. So I went to Igni just to, you know, test some stuff around. And my DPS is still super high, so um, this actually increased my DPS a lot. I don't know why, because I'm looking at the statistics. All I see is armor, sign intensity. That's it. I don't see anything else, but it did drastically. And I put Igni runes that I had saved up, uh, threw them in my... Uh, 
armor and whatnot. So, yeah, there's my runes. Weapons are still the same. I did craft this weapon too. This is a Witcher set piece, but it's a higher level Viper set. I had it in my uh, Steel Sword recipe book. So that's level 39. Um, so I'm hoping I should be able to already gave it a rune word, just getting it ready to go. Everything else is good. I mean, we got 15 chance to poison. We've got a bonus for monster or er, humans. Um, we've got 10% crit, which I think is five less, but 75 crit damage. And then it's got our intensity on it, which isn't that bad. 25%, but, um, you know, we don't we don't have a pure sign build or anything like that. I'm still doing the DPS. I just thought we'd... Hey, we're coming on a decent part of the game. Probably a good fight. Might as well. I died almost instantly. I was testing it out. I do not have a lot of uh, armor, it seems, or... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Health. So you can look. I'm at 5620, which is not a lot of health. So when I get hit, it's not very pleasant. <laughs> So, it's it's all on if you're going to get hit or not. So, you'll see me cast Igni. I wish my sign intensity regenerate, or my sign reg stamina regen was better. So, these guys respawn. Damn it. So, I still hit really hard with a sword. Go back up here. Which is awesome. Whoa. He's burning. Burn. That's cool. It's not doing too bad, you just can't get hit. Our loot here. I just want to show you guys uh, how that worked. So I've got a burning effect on Igni, or the intensity, I forget what one I'm doing, but too bad. Let's go ahead and I know we're kind of out of our element on the quest, but the armor looks dumb. I hate it, but it's a more sign intensive. That chest piece, though, was serious DPS. It was like 200. No. Yeah, it was like 200 or 100 and something DPS. So, and it's light armor. But, um, I really wish, uh, the medium armor, I could get my DPS plus stamina regen. Sorry, I'm giving a good stretch here. But you can't, I mean, stamina regen, speedy. I guess I could use Tawny Owl. I didn't even think of that. I got the alchemy going. I don't have an alchemy build anymore, really. Hmm. Now, let's go before we uh, forget here. Let's do my crit and my vitality regen, which is awesome. So, having that one skill in the top level of the alchemy tree is just huge. At this point in the game, you have so many potion diagrams and whatnot. Um, your toxicity with two decoctions. I'm only at half. I think if I use a third decoction, which is really what I wanted, um, it starts to poison me, which I can't keep that up for a while because uh, you'll run out of those uh, poison heal you potions, those drills. So let me pause the video again. I just wanted to show you. It's going to be cool, though. The fights drag out, and um, now when I cast Igni, as long as I have an adrenaline point, my next sword, it'll eat that adrenaline point. And my next sword attack will burn the enemy. I think that's pretty cool. Or Ard, it'll Ard them. Or Quen, it'll give me another Quen. Something like that. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, we're here. Sorry about that delay. I just thought you guys would want to see that. I don't want to change anything up if you guys aren't aware. We haven't updated our crossbow. Not that we use it. I just thought it would be kind of neat. 
Um, anyways, here's the cave. There's a temple inside. Um, we're going to pop cat just as a, um, you know, preparation. A good witcher thing to do. So without further ado, let's get to it. I'm not going to bother collecting any mushrooms. I'm just looking for uh, stuff like this. All right. Lots of mushrooms here. The thing about caves, there is no shortage of mushrooms. And it looks like the, the um, other way is where we want to go. So I'm just going to double check everything. Looks like another entrance. A couple entrances in here. I'm sure I've been in here before, running around, discovering, what have you. Caves look all the same, I'm not really... I kinda remember this. Yeah, one of our Witcher contracts, I think we came in here. save that just went. Oh yeah. Ow! I was going to say, it wasn't night when I popped up. I guess I was just waiting for Old Geard. And you know, Master Mears Strange is coming. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the Rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? I think... think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me? After all that's passed. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... As though... A hot iron's pierced my chest. you waiting. Now we can fly like the Matrix. So glad to see everyone's made it. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less trouble? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfill three wishes, and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know?
not. No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not... Here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Horse. You cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. He likes his souls. But we shall do this my way. Clamp on. Clamp on. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The yeah. riddle. Glad I upgraded all and my equipment. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? Hmm. Maybe it'll instant kill me if I get it wrong. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Oh boy. Ready? Let's begin. Where's the, uh, hmm. Okay, I think I'll pause it. I didn't see an hourglass appear on the screen or anything. But, uh, all right, guys. Well, we'll, uh, we'll continue on this. Mm, sorry about the stretching there. We'll continue on this quest next video. I hope you guys are enjoying this. He's very, very powerful. You've seen him walking down out of the sky there like it was nothing. He controls time, teleports, crazy powerful. I, I hope we can see his true form at some point in this game. And it'll probably be when we, we end up, you know we're going to beat him in his own game. We're going to figure it out. And then um, he's probably going to go psychotically mad and try to kill us in his true form or something. And then we'll have to fight the demon. But I don't know. I could be completely wrong. He might be like, well done, and then disappears. I don't know. So, anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you're enjoying this as much as me. This is pretty cool. But we're going to save Ulgird, which, I don't know, he was pretty evil at one point in his life. We should have probably let him uh, pay his own debt. Anyways, guys, uh, until next time, though, as always, later.